Okay, uh, Jamovi session three. Uh, I want to jump straight into this. Um, today we are going to be talking about correlations. Correlations. In other words, if A goes up or down, does B go up or down? So correlations. I'm going to talk about what correlations are and how to think about correlations. And we're also going to see how we can statistically produce uh, correlations in Jamovi. Okay, so let's jump into uh, the explanation of what correlations are. So correlations are all about uh, expressing a relationship between two variables. A correlation is all about expressing a relationship between two variables. Co-relation. Relationship, co-co-relation. Relationships between two variables. Now, a correlation is positive when the values increase together. And a correlation is negative when one value decreases as the other increases. So, for example, uh, when the temperature increases, ice cream sales increase. Right? That would suggest there is a correlation between temperature and ice cream sales. Uh, correlation is negative when one value decreases as the other increases. Um, as the temperature increases, the sale of down jackets decreases. As the temperature increases, the sale of down jackets decreases. Right? That's a negative correlation. Positive correlation is when the values increase together. Correlation is negative when the values decrease. Uh, when one value uh, increases, the other one decreases. So uh, these are some visual representations of correlations. Um, and we can not only represent correlations visually, but also with numbers. So a perfect positive correlation, a perfect positive correlation is a correlation of one. A perfect positive correlation is a, pro is a correlation of one. And you can see that if there's a perfect correlation, then when one value increases, the other value increases as well perfectly by the same, same amount. Um, a high positive correlation would be 0 0.9. We would express that as 0 0.9. Um, you know, there's some movement. There's, it doesn't, you know, when one value increases, the other value doesn't necessarily perfectly increase, but it's pretty good. A low positive correlation would, would be 0.5. No correlation, we would represent that with a zero. A low negative correlation would be minus 0.5. A high negative correlation would be minus 0.9. And a perfect negative correlation will be negative one. Okay, so correlations go from one to negative one in somewhere in there. Right? If it's a if there's a positive correlation, positive relationship between two variables, then we'll see a positive number between zero and one. If a if a correlation is negative, if we see uh, one value decreasing as another one increases, then we would see a, a, a negative number between zero and negative one. Okay, so that's the basic idea behind uh, correlations. But just keep in mind that a correlation is all about expressing a relationship between two variables. Um, so we're going to practice this now with some data that we have and that we've worked together with before um, to get a better idea of how this works and, and how we can use correlations to, uh, to make conclusions. Um, so a quick brush up on our variables. So a quick um, 
uh, reminder of the variables that we've been working with the last couple of weeks. Uh, we've talked about the behavior of self-promoting on Facebook or showing off on Facebook. So self-promotion on Facebook, it is the behavior of showing off on Facebook when something goes well in your everyday life. Um, now, how do we measure the behavior of self-promotion on Facebook? We, uh, we can administer or ask people to respond to a survey with the Facebook self-promotion six-point scale. Um, so for example, if I won an award, I would post this about this on Facebook. Do you, the participant of the survey, do you agree with this or disagree with this statement? All right, so we've got that self-promotion behavior scale. Um, now in our data set, we also have this focus on merits or demerits of self-promoting on Facebook. Now this is not a behavior so much as a psychology. All right, so self-promoting on Facebook, this is a behavior. Right, people do that. Um, whereas a focus, or or a, a thinking about, or a um, uh, an increased concern for the merits or demerits of self-promoting on Facebook, this is more a, a characteristic of a person's psychology or mind. Right, so this is a belief that if you self-promote on Facebook, either good or bad things will happen. So how do we measure this psychology? Um, we use the self, 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 uh, Facebook self-promotion merits or demerits focus scale. Um, and, and we saw that uh, in the last YouTube video. So this is a six point scale. So for example, um, if I uh, show off or um, do self-promotion on Facebook, I can make new friends and business partners. So this would be, someone would agree or disagree with that. And if they agreed with that, then that, that would suggest that they focus on the merits of uh, self-promotion on Facebook. Um, and we also had items like people who will, uh, people will think that I'm a show off, right? And so people who strongly agree with this statement, we would say might focus more on the demerits of self-promotion. Um, so there we go. So we've got those, these variables in our data set. Now we might uh, have a theory, we might have a, an expectation that these variables, this, um, the psychology and behavior here might be related in some way. Right, so I want you to think for a moment, um, what might the relationship look like between a belief in the merits of Facebook self-promotion and actual Facebook self-promotion behavior. So if you are somebody who um, really has a strong belief in the merits or the good things that might happen if you show off or, or um, display your successes on Facebook, do you think you would self-promote more or less on Facebook. I want you to just think about that for a moment. Um, I'll give you maybe 30 seconds. Um, actually, no, let, let's say pause the video. <laughs> pause the video right now and draw a line on this, uh, this graph here. Um, so draw, a, get a bit of paper, draw the axes and then draw a line. Would it be going from bottom left to top right or top right to bottom left? Would it be a positive correlation or a negative correlation? So pause the video now and draw this graph for me. Okay, so hopefully you have drawn a line on this graph. I'm gonna show you what my prediction uh, would be for this. Um, in my case, I would expect that as people had an increasing, increasingly strong belief in the merits of self uh, of self promoting on Facebook, I would expect that people would self promote more. 
this should be a straight line. Um, but I would imagine there is a positive correlation between a belief in the merits of Facebook self-promotion and the behavior of fa Facebook self-promotion. Does that make sense? I'd like you to make another prediction now. Um, I'd like you to make a prediction about the relationship between a belief in the demerits of Facebook self-promotion and self-promotion on Facebook. So as somebody um, has a stronger and stronger belief in the bad things that might happen if they self-promote on Facebook, do you think they would self-promote more or less? Right, so for this one as well, I'd like you to draw on a piece of paper, um, draw on a piece of paper the axes here, and would it be a, an, a similar line to this? So g kind of increasing positive correlation, or would it be a negative correlation? I'm not gonna give you my prediction for this, uh, so this is your homework. I'd like you to make a prediction about this, and I'm going to get you to do the statistical analyses using Jamovi to answer this question in the data that we have. Um, we're going to go through using Jamovi together for this correlation, and I'll get you to uh, work on this correlation as homework and report it to us at the end of next week. So um, so we have our prediction here, right? We, we have our prediction that as somebody um, increases in their belief in the merits of self, uh, Facebook self-promotion, we would expect that people would self-promote more on Facebook. So let's test these predictions. Um, once again, I'm gonna get you to download a new data set. Um, so I'll get you to download a new data set. This link to the data set is in the description below and also on Moodle. Um, so let's open that up and just double check that you've got the following variables in your data set. You should have self-promotion scale average. You should have self-promotion merits focus scale average and also a self-promotion demerits focal uh, focus scale average. Okay, so we're gonna open this up um, and, uh, and get Jamovi all running. Um, so of course, this will bring up a browser. Um, you'll wanna download this new file and then open the file up. Okay, so we have this new uh, data file open in Jamovi. And here we want to have a quick look at our variables. It's looking pretty similar to um, the previous couple of weeks. We've got the start date, end date, duration, friend, number, start month, uh, number of months that the person's been using uh, Facebook. We can double click, remember, uh, double click on the um, the the headers here, and that'll give us um, some information about the uh, the variable. And click on the arrow here, and that will hide this section. We've got the Facebook purpose, we've got the self-promotion scale items, um, the individual items there. We've got the self-promotion demerit scale items here, one, two, five. And we've got the self-promotion merit scale items. Um, but at the end of the f data file here, we've got the self-promotion scale average, got the self-promotion merits focus scale average, and the self-promotion demerits focus scale average. Okay, so for each person, we have a, a value there for each of those scales. So, how do we do correlations? Um, it's pretty easy. We wanna click on regression, then correlation matrix. So regression, correlation matrix. And this will bring up our correlation matrix uh, analysis uh, screen here. 
Now you could find the correlation between any variable that you want in your data set. But we are interested here, of course, in the self-promotion scale average and the self-promotion merits focus scale average. So we put that in there. Um, before we have a look at this, these results, let have, uh, let's add a few more um, checks in the box here. Uh, we'll flag significant correlations. So um, this is quite helpful because you, you don't have to only put two variables here. You could put every single variable in here and explore the correlations between all of those variables. Um, so it's handy to have flag significant correlations because it gives you some stars next to the correlations that are significant the correlations that are meaningful or reliable. Uh, we'll also have a plot here, so we'll click on plot, and that will automatically give us a plot here. So let's have a look at our output here. Um, we've got a correlation matrix. We've got the self-promotion scale average, self-promotion scale average. Got two dashes here. That makes sense though, right? You can't correlate a variable with itself. It, it doesn't really make sense. This is the interesting bit. Self-promotion merits focus scale average and the self-promotion scale average. This is the correlation that we're interested in. Now remember our, our prediction was that there would be a positive correlation between these two variables. Right? We predicted that if people had more of a focus on the merits associated with uh, self-promotion, that they would self-promote more. That kind of makes sense, right? And what do we have? We have a positive correlation. There's no negative in front of us. If this was a negative correlation, there would be a negative sign uh, at, the, at the beginning here. What we have is 0 0.470 for our correlation coefficient. And we have three stars here, um, which if we have a look down here means that the p-value is less than 0 0.001. And also the p-value here is written. So what value does the p-value need to be in order for the statistic to be significant? Remember from last week, the t-tests, minus 0 0.05. Sorry, less than 0 0.05. The p-value needs to be less than 0 0.05 in order for it to be significant. So this value is less than 0 0.001. Um, so it's, it's much, much smaller than 0 0.05. So it is significant. So what we have here is a significant positive correlation between self-promotion scale average and self-promotion merits focus scale average. Um, now the Jamovi plots, the Jamovi graphs are not great. Um, I mean it's small, it's kind of squished, but we can see that there is a, a, a positive, like the, the, the line is increasing, right? There's a um, it's going up rather than down. So this is telling us visually that indeed there is some kind of positive correlation. So visually we can check it here and also with the numbers we can see that it is significant. Um, so once you have the numbers, um, then we, uh, we go on to visualizing these results. So you could use the Jamovi output, but it's terrible. I mean, look at this. Um, you can right click on this and export uh, the image. Um, how about we copy the image? So we'll copy the image, uh, go to Microsoft Word, um, open up a new uh, document here and then paste it in here. I mean, it looks terrible, right? It's huge. Um, the uh, there's just too much space. It's not a really good looking plot. So 
what we need to do is use Excel to create a visualization of this, uh, this data. So we're gonna click on hide here. So we're gonna hide our analyses. Um, we still have our results here. And uh, to create a, um, a nice looking plot in, um, in Excel, first of all, we need to copy this data. So I'm click, I'll click on the heading here and just drag across. Another option will be to click uh, the heading of the column and then control click and that selects the two columns. I'll right click here, right click with these two columns selected and then copy. So I'm copying that data. It's now copied on the clipboard. I now open Excel, Microsoft Excel, a new blank book and then I right click and paste. And that should, uh, it's only taken one of the things. Hang on, I'll go back to these guys. Um, right click, copy, and I'll just delete this guy and then see if we can get both of those in. There we go. Okay, so now we have um, both of our columns. All right, so Jamovi, we wanna click on the heading, drag across. Um, probably it's best to right click in one of these headings somewhere rather than in the the, uh, the text body uh, or the, the data body here. Um, copy and then jump over to Excel and right click or control click, I guess, in Mac and then paste. Okay, so now we just have the numbers, um, but we wanna just make sure that we don't forget which numbers are for which variables. So if we right click on the top row here, then we can click on insert or saw new, and then we can type in the variable names. So this would be self promotion um, average. And then our second column of data here, of course, is self-promotion uh, merits, focus. So self-promotion merits, focus, uh, average. Okay, so now we have our two uh, columns of data here. Um, now, with plots or with um, with scatter plots, we always want to have the the variable that we think is causing change in the other variable, that is the independent variable. We want that to be on the x axis, the horizontal axis, and we want to have the outcome variable on the y axis. Right, so um, in this case, we assume that if somebody has the psychology of a, f of a focus on the merits of self-promotion, that they will, as a result, as an outcome, they will self-promote more. Um, so when we make this plot, we wanna make sure that the self-promotion merits focus average is on the horizontal and the self-promotion average is on the vertical. If we try to make a plot with this in this order, then you might find that it's the other way around. So we wanna move this column to column A. It's quite easy to do that in, uh, in Excel. We wanna put our cursor over the border here. So you can see how I've got some um, uh, some arrows, four directional arrows here. Um, hold down shift. So I'm holding down shift and then I can drag it. And that just swaps them around. I can drag uh, those around. So I can move this anywhere I want. All right, um, get your cursor over the edge of the, um, of the column here. Shift, click, drag. 
and then pull that over to there. So now we've got the self-promotion merits focus average in the left hand most uh, column and the self-promotion average in the right side. Now we can select all of our data here. We can go to insert, or saw new, and then select scatter plot here. So we click on scatter plot or sampuzu, uh, and then click on uh, scatter plot or sampuzu. Right, so that will give us, oops, that will give us our scatter plot. Uh, you'll see that by default we don't have any um, axis labels, uh, but we do want to have axis labels. So we would go to here, um, add some elements, jikuraberu axis labels. We've got the x axis label there. We'll do the same for the uh, the vertical axis, and we want to change this to self promotion uh, merit focus right and then this one here of course is self promotion self promotion um, and then for the title would probably want to change this to a title that describes the relationship that this uh, that this graph represents so in this case, uh, we would be talking about um, uh, correlation or relationship. Here we go. Relationship between um, focus on self-promotion and self-promotion uh, behavior. And now we have a, um, a nice graph that is representing um, the, uh, the relationship there. We can make it a little bit bigger. Um, and then just, there's just a couple more things that we need to do. Uh, one is we need to do something about the axes here. So at the moment we go, it's going from zero to seven, but there's a problem there. Can you guess what the problem is? In our scale, uh, in our survey, we asked, do you agree or disagree with the following statements? And people could respond from one to six. Right? On both of these scales, the only options for response was one to six. So there was no seven. Seven is impossible. Nobody can have a score of seven on self-promotion. Zero is also impossible. If someone responded one, 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 one to all of the items, then their score would be one, like this person. Uh, so each of these dots is a person, right? Um, so we need to fix that. Um, we can do that by double clicking. You double click on the axis. Um, so you can do it for the horizontal or the um, vertical axis. So we double click on the axis and then we want to change the minimum number to one and the maximum number to six. And there we go. And we want to do the same for the horizontal axis. So double click on that um, and then click on Jiku options and change the lower number to one and the higher number to six. And then we can close this. So now we have um, a, 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 um, a graph that, that represents um, the data that we have. One last thing that we want to do uh, is we want to add a trend line. Um, so we wanna add a just a single straight line across here and that gives us an indication of the the correlation we can see that it's positive increasing so there we go that's our um, nice looking uh, graph all sorted and looking nice there we can of course copy and paste 
this into Word um, and, uh, and just use it as it is. Of course, you can change colors, you can change fonts, all that kind of thing. So Excel has a lot of, uh, a lot of power in how you can uh, display your, your graphs and your figures. So um, you should always create your graphs and figures, especially these uh, scatter plots, you should do those in Excel. So um, that is uh, how we test a prediction. Um, of course, all of these instructions are in uh, in the, uh, the the PDF of the slides that is on Moodle, so you can go through it there as well. So we add our scatter plot, um, and now on your own, I'd like you to uh, figure out the relationship between Facebook self promotion demerits and Facebook self uh, Facebook self promotion. Um, now you'll see the worksheet here or, or um, thing that I would like you to kind of look at and, and use as a guide is, is there a relationship between Facebook self-promotion demerits and Facebook self-promotion? Yes or no? All right, so circle your answer. Did you find a relationship? Yes or no? Um, what is the correlation coefficient for the relationship? Remember the correlation, the correlation co coefficient um, is this one here, the correlation coefficient. This is the correlation coefficient or the R value. Um, and then I asked you to check um, what is the P value, right? The P value is of course this one here, the P value. So you just report it as it is. Um, and then, uh, and then, oops. And then I would like you to report your findings. But how do we report findings? It's one thing that I haven't gone over yet, and this is how we report uh, correlation results. So once again, first in reporting results, we give the numbers. Right? What are the what are the numbers involved? So a correlation analysis showed that there was a significant positive correlation, and we give the R value or the correlation coefficient. There was a positive a significant positive correlation, R 0.47, P is less than 0.001, between perceived merits of self-promoting on Facebook and Facebook self-promotion. Right, so this first bit is just giving the statistical results. But once again, there might be people that are reading your results or your report who might be who might have no idea what a correlation analysis is. What 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 is that? Um, what do you mean a significant positive correlation? Right? Some people won't understand that. So we need to put it into uh, easy to understand everyday terms. So this means that people who think that self-promoting on Facebook will bring benefits are more likely to self-promote on Facebook. All right? So you have the the cold hard statistics at the beginning, right up to here, and then you put it into different words that are that can be easily understood by the everyday person. Okay? So I'd like you to do some analyses. Um, first of all, make a prediction, right? Make a prediction between uh, of the relationship between the demerits of self-promotion and uh, or belief in the demerits of self-promotion and self-promotion. And then I'd like you to test that uh, that prediction using Jamovi. Um, so that is your uh, homework for week. What week is it? Um, for week five, is it? Um, let's have a quick look. So I'll be posting this. Um, I will be posting this on uh, week five here. So um, you'll do the analyses 
and report back your homework results in meeting six. So I'll post the, uh, the, um, the, the, face, the YouTube video here um, and you can have a look through that, go through the analyses um, and we'll get everyone to report their results in meeting six. Okay, so thank you very much guys. Um, once again, do let me know if you have any issues uh, and we'll see you again on Zoom soon. Cheers.